Good afternoon, 47. Your target is Howard Moxon, an international antiquities trader who specializes in selling priceless art to finance terrorist organizations. He is currently involved in the sale of the Ivory White, a filigree egg looted during the Second World War. The client has requested that you both eliminate the target and locate and retrieve the original Ivory White. This priceless artifact is most likely in one of the museum's safes. The clock is ticking, 47. Good luck. Yo, what's up, guys? My name is Mr. Freeze2244, and welcome to the Broker Year 3 Elusive Target. So, I'm gonna, for this video, I'll be showing you two different methods for this one. And the first method is going to be for a default loadout guide for all the new players that are in the game. And uh, the second method is going to be a more an efficient method for more experienced players that will be involved in their medic gas device. But uh, those of you that are going to be using the default loadout, I'll be with method one, but I'll leave the timestamps in the description for whatever you don't want to choose. And so basically, this is going to be a pretty much a definitive guide. I don't anticipate doing another guide for this. So here we go. So for method one, we're going to bring on the default loadout, the ICA-19, the fiber wire coin. I'm going to start the red carpet. So the first thing we need to do is get ourselves a disguise. So if you are new to the game, this is the first time you've ever played this elusive target. What we're going to do for this one is set up a trap for the elusive target to walk into. And uh, to do that safely, we are going to get ourselves a nice disguise. So first thing we need to do is come down to the basement. We are in a trespassing zone right now. And what we need to do is wait for this stylus. There's a stylus walking down this corridor right now. We're going to wait for him to walk past us, and we're going to grab this fire extinguisher off the wall and knock him out. We're also going to hide his body as well. We're going to be knocking out a couple of people down into this basement. So, we'll knock out this one first, put him in the crate. Don't have to bother taking his disguise, but he can if you want, if you want to grab the extra XP. The most next important step is grabbing this uh, crowbar off the barrel right now. Grab that. You're going to need that for later on. Throw it at the uh, security guard's head, retrieve it, and then throw it at this tech crude uh, head as well. Again, once again, retrieve it. Grab the uh, disguise. You can hide the bodies in the crate if you want to. There's a crate in the room, but it's not necessary at all, so don't worry about it. Next thing we need to do is go and get ourselves a screwdriver. So if we exit right out here, climb the stairs. In the corner of this area, there's going to be a screwdriver, so you want to go ahead and grab that. What we're going to do is sabotage a uh, plug socket on the floor. And it's going to set up an electrocution kill for the target. Now, if you want to take him risks, you, if you wanted to do take all, the, take all the risks, then you don't have to get the disguise. You could shoot the socket if you wanted to, and then electrify the puddle, but I don't recommend that. So the first thing I want, you, I want you to do is turn off this outlet. Turn it off. If you don't turn that off before you expose this plug, then what you'll do is, as you're exposing the plug, you'll electrocute yourself. So make sure you turn it off before you expose it. Now the target will be roaming around this area for, for a while. He might be in a different location for you. He might even be walking over the pool right now. But for me, he's walked back inside, unfortunately, so we're going to have to wait for him to come back, back outside. Now it's important only to activate the, uh, the outlet when he walks over the puddle. The reason for that is there's a photographer and a model that walks around this area and you don't want to just set this trap and walk away because you might electrocute one of those and you'll fail and not get silent assassin. So just keep that in mind. So I'm going to skip to the point where the target is actually hanging around. So there we go. Here he is about to walk over the puddle and we're just going to turn on the outlet. Next, we're just going to run right past him. Again, if you're a new player, his body's going to get found, but it's an accident kill. So even when his body is found, it's not going to uh, negatively affect your silent assassin rating. So don't worry about it. We're going to head on inside now. Head up one flight of stairs. And we need to switch our disguises now because this, this disguise is not allowed on the auction floor. So we're going to come through this door, close the door behind us. Close this door on our left. And close the back door as well. And go ahead and knock out the auction staff member. And once you've done that, you can just drag his body into the, the closet if you'd like. If you want to stay all nice and clean. Once you've done that, go ahead and grab his disguise. 
Now, to get to the next floor, we are going to need to get through a frisk zone. So what we need to do is, if you've brought along a pistol with you, go ahead in, the in your inventory and then drop the gun out of your inventory. So you highlight it and then you'll just drop it with the drop item button. Or you can yeah, just whatever. pull it out and then just drop it the on the floor. Either way, you need to drop it before you get through here because you need to get frisked. Just take a minute, no need to worry. We're the good guys, right? Green light. Go ahead, sir. Once you've done that, we're going to head on upstairs now and then head on into the attic. The attic on your left is a trespassing zone. So, again, be wary of that. You climb out of the ledge and then shimmy along this edge ledge and then get into the bathroom. There are going to be two guards in the left room. So what we need to do is turn on our, our clock radio and then turn it back off. Stay crouched. Just being crouched in this bathroom is very, very important. So we're going to hide behind this closet now, waiting for the guard to come in. Once he comes in the room, we are going to close the door and then subdue him. But again, make sure you are crouched. If you are doing this standing up, he may potentially spot you in the mirror. So just be very, very careful. Once you've knocked him out, hide him in the closet. At this point, Dahlia may come in. She's the main target from the main mission in Paris. Uh, it can be a bit annoying. You some, sometimes you might have to listen to the entire conversation and wait for her to leave before you have another chance of doing this. So, you know, it's just the luck of the draw, really, when it comes to the timing of Dahlia coming in the room or not. But in the meantime, we're going to overflow the sink and then turn the sink tap right back off after we're retrieving the weapon. Again, stay crouched. We overflow the sink to bring the next guard in, so we're going to stay crouched again, then knock out the other guard. And then we're going to hide his body in the closet. For me, Dahlia has just left the room, so we have the room free to us. Now, if she's still in the room for you, you just have to unfortunately wait for our entire conversation to play out and finish before you head on into this room and break open this, uh, this safe. Once you've grabbed the ivory white filigree egg, you can now exit the room and head to an exit. I would not recommend taking the exit that's right in front of you, which is the helicopter exit, because that whole area around the helipad is a trespassing zone. So what I would advise you to do is head on all the way down into the basement area, because there's going to be a nice little exit for you there, and it's nice and easy to get to. But if you want to feel, you feel like taking a risk, go for it. The helipad is just right there, but I do not recommend it if you're a new player. I recommend just taking these safe and easy options Head on down these stairs right here. And if you take it right at the end where the door is, circle your way around, there'll be a nice little exit in the corner. And there we go. So hopefully that will get you a nice silent assassin rating if you're a new player. For the second method, we're going to do a little bit more of an efficient method for more experienced players. So we're going to start in a palace garden, bring along a lockpick, bring along your briefcase and have the remote magnetic gas stored inside it. You don't really need your pistol. First thing you need to do, take a couple of steps forward and take your gas device out of the briefcase and then conceal it back into the briefcase. When you hear the beep, you know it's now uh, basically activated. And then in your inventory, you will find a remote for the gas device itself. Run up to the target. He's going to be wandering around this area at the very start. We're going to wait for him to come to this actual door, though, because we don't want to poison him over there. Bump into him if you want to get him to stop moving. And then trigger the gas device. That's going to send him to the bathroom and it gives you an easy opportunity to uh, make him sick and drown him for a little accident kill. Now you might ask can I use the seeker one? Of course you can but so you just need to be a lot more careful of where you want to shoot it from uh, as it's a lot more risky because uh, when you use the gas device in a briefcase no one can catch you whereas if you use a uh, seeker one then you have the potential to get spotted so just be very careful with that. Close this door behind you as he comes in here. The guard doesn't follow, so don't worry about him. Drown the target. And it will be an accident kill for you, so the body's going to get found. But again, it's an accident kill, so it doesn't it doesn't really matter. Target eliminated. Now, you could take the, the little pass right there, the invitation, and go up the proper way. Or you can do it the, the way I want to do it and to go up the pipe because it's a lot faster. Just be careful of this guard outside. He is an enforcer to pretty much all disguises if I remember correctly. As I said, you can use the invitation and go up the stairs to your left, but you are going to need to dump your pistol somewhere. But what I will recommend doing is just following where I'm going, 
There should be no guard patrolling around this area yet. So just run up to this pipe over here in the corner. And after about halfway up the pipe, it will be no longer a trespassing zone. Because you are allowed legally to be up here with your suit. So you don't have to worry too much. Plus it's faster getting up here with this. And you could uh, potentially beat Dahlia to get into a, a room. That's the real problem with this. Because Dahlia, her timing is weird for all the, some of these techniques. Sometimes she's in the room, sometimes she's not. It's just really the look, look of the draw, whether she's there or not. So we're going to head on to the Arctic right now. Shimmy along this ledge. Jump into the bathroom. Currently Dahlia is in the room for me. So that's unfortunately bad timing for me. But it doesn't really matter. We're just going to have to wait for a conversation to play out. We're going to turn on that clock radio right there to distract the guard in the second room. Stay crouched, hide behind this closet. We've made sure to turn the clock radio back off after we distracted him. So we don't want to distract anyone else at the moment. Go ahead and knock him out, subdue him. But again, make sure you're staying crouched as you do that. Because the guard may potentially see you in the mirror if you do it standing up. Put his body in the closet and retrieve his weapon. And next we're going to overflow the sink. I'm just going to distract the second guard in the room. And then once it's overflowing, we can turn it off. That's going to distract the second guard. So he's going to come in the room, see the puddle. Again, stay crouched. Hide. And then I'm going to close the door behind him and then subdue him. Again, put his body in the closet. Now, darling, my goal is going to be in the room. She's going to be talking for a long time. And I think it's one of the longest conversations in the entire Hitman series. And it's really annoying. And I wish there was a way to skip it. But unfortunately, there is not. Um, so what we're going to do is just wait in this room. You can feel free to put the bodyguard disguise on. It's going to help you with an exit anyway. But if you wanted to do it suit only, just wait in here. It's no big deal. But once you, if you do do this in suit only, you'd have to retrace your steps and go back the way you came. But if you are doing it in your suit, uh, like this... But after putting disguise on, we're just going to have to wait for this conversation to play out. I'm going to skip the conversation for the video so you don't have to listen to it twice. So, uh, yeah, skip. As you can see, that's a long conversation. But you only need about 10 to 15 seconds in the room alone anyway to, to lockpick this safe. If you're wondering where the key to the safe was, Dahlia actually has it on her. So if you wanted to do this with a key, she has the key. You'd have to knock her out to get it. But we use the lockpick there. It's illegal to pick up the egg. So once you've picked it up, I'd recommend waiting in the room for about a second for all the enforcers to clear. Because sometimes it does that. But once it does exit the room, you can slide down this pipe at the back. And we can take the helicopter exit. Just be wary of the enforcer that's hanging around by the helicopter. But we're going to circle around the right. And then take the helicopter exit this way. And uh, that's a nice, easy silent assassin for the broker. So that's two methods overall on how to get silent assassin. Whether you're a new player or an experienced player. So hopefully that has uh, indeed helped you out for either of those methods. Did you enjoy this Lucid Tiger? Did you enjoy these methods? Uh, this is the th I think I don't know how many. Th I think this is the third time I've played this now, not including uh, Lucid Tiger arcades. So yeah, it's uh, it's not a bad uh, Lucid Tiger. But once you are completing one of the objectives, obviously you are locked into the contract because uh, that's where it makes it a little bit more tricky compared to a regular other loose loose, loose targets but there we go silent assassin not the fastest time in the world but it's not necessary as long as it's nice and uh, easily and safe we're all good and that's going to do it for this video thank you very much for watching feel free to drop a like on the video if it helped you out subscribe if you are new to the channel hit the bell icon below the video and click all notifications to be notified of all future videos and live streams consider supporting me on patreon or even becoming a member of the channel by just like everyone else here in the credits and you can click the link in the description for all the details of that. And a big thank you to all of my subscribers, all of my new members, all of my new Patreons as well. I really do appreciate all the support recently. Thank you very much. I shall see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Cheers.